Ah. 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 Hey, welcome back to the garage. Um, today we're gonna be doing something slightly different. Uh, I had plans to do the, um, I had plans to do the, uh, the floor pan as far as fixing all those uh, the little holes that I had left in the, from what I welded in that patch. And, um, but I've also actually cleaned up the steering column last night. I cleaned up the rear sway bar actually as well. I didn't actually get footage of me painting it, but again, I have to, so I was thinking about putting the rear sway bar on and oh, bye. <laughs> fire wheel cannot be denied. Must wire wheel. We're doing the firewall. All right, so before we get to that, let's take a look at this. See, there's a couple little drippies and stuff. All right, so we gotta get this Mustang steering again, right? But before we do that, we have to clean up the steering column and get this installed. Before we can install this, you have to put in the brake pedal assembly, which is done, so we're good there. But before we put the brake pedal assembly in, we gotta clean up that firewall as well. So I don't have much time tonight, but I wanna get this kind of like cleaned up somewhat and maybe a coat of rust reformer on it. We'll see where we're at tomorrow. That's not at all what I wanted to have happen. I have this drift instead, which is a little bit bigger. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make this work, but I'll give this a couple whacks, see what happens. It worked. <laughs> the back. You can see it's been pretty well, pretty well worn here in this contact strip. So, one's for the horn, one is for cruise control, apparently. Uh, I'm not sure how this all works, but don't look good. Uh, Corner of curiosities. Okay. So now let's take a look at this. Just take this off. This thing is still in surprisingly good shape. No broken tabs or anything. Oh, slightly. No, that's normal. Okay. Now as far as this. Now I gotta decide if I want to paint this whole thing or what exactly it is that I want to do. The bearings in this are good. I don't need to redo them or anything. I'd really rather not paint this whole thing, but this is still attached, so. Does that bring the whole thing out? No. I don't know if I want to take this whole thing out. I don't actually want to take this whole thing out, so this is staying on. And that's how you change the lock cylinder. Looking to paint this. This screws in like that. One screw. Now, what exactly am I gonna do with all this? First thing I wanna do is spray all this with brake clean and clean it up, because there's no way that I'm gonna be able to, to do this Look at this, this is like horrible. How do I get a new one of these? Yeah, we gotta get a new one of these. All right, I'm gonna take this outside real quick, hit it with some brake clean, and then come back in here with it. Oh man, anybody hear that weird music? <coughs> oh, better. Oh. 
One thing about brake cleaning is that it will remove all the oil that's in these bearings. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of uh, spray lube down here. Now, I've decided not to really go nuts with the wire wheel on this because for the most part it's not like flaky rust so this is fine as far as what the rust reformer needs to grab onto. All right, I'm gonna keep cleaning this up and then I'm gonna hang it up and we're gonna spray it. I can't believe I'm not recording what an amazing job I'm doing with all this masking. All right, I thought I had one can left, but this looks like it's been used, so let's just do what we gotta do here. So I think, we, uh, I think we'll just let that dry overnight. Got some drippies as usual, but nobody's gonna see this. So tomorrow we'll put a full paint coat on it and then uh, put it to the side. The one thing to note is this thing has never been smoother after the white lithium grease. Can't even hear the bearings anymore like we did last night. So happy with that. So we're gonna paint this all with some black paint. Yeah, and then that's it and we'll see uh, We'll see where this ends up. Also, no, we'll figure out a way to do this. Put the fork in it. Yeah. This right here. This is the last spot that I'm willing to do. I'm gonna splice in a little bit of footage cleaning this up. This was all blue but it had a factory black paint underneath. But this is all rust treated now, so I'm gonna give it a nice coat of black paint. And this is the black paint that I'm gonna be using. It's hammered black. Uh, it's not quite the carbon mist that I've been using with everything else, so I'm a little upset about that. I can't seem to find it, uh, but this is gonna have to do. Quick apology for this coming up painting segment. I thought that I had it in regular video, but it was in time warp, so. Uh, I don't generally like to do the first person stuff in time warp, but uh, I'll try to maybe slow it down or something. I don't know, we'll see.
right, before we do anything in here, I have to uh, vacuum. I vacuum this car more times than I think I've vacuumed. I'd like to also point out that this is a day that might end in heartbreak. Still finding some uh, surprise rust in some of these places, but I'm gonna try to wire wheel out these corners, find any remaining rust, and uh, see what we're gonna do to treat it. Surprisingly, they're fine. I thought they'd be worse. All of these out. I'll we'll clean these all up at once. smells like mold still after all this time you know what I'm looking forward to the day that this entire interior or at least this floor pan is completely handled because I can't stand looking at it honestly so I'm also really not looking forward to seeing what's underneath whatever I'm about to do I might end up very upset. I might cry. I'm getting a little emotional just thinking about it. <laughs> All right, so let's get started.
So I'm taking a quick break. This actually looks pretty good. Here, let me put this on. This looks much better than I thought it was going to. Uh, this is some pitting, but it's not through. So I'm confident the rust reformer will give me a couple more years. Uh, this all came out pretty good. This was a surprise up here, but not that surprising. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. Uh, I'm gonna vacuum and then we do the other side real quick. But then I'm gonna probably call it there and pick this up in a part two. So on second thought, we're gonna stop this episode here. This is a, a lot of work. It's a little physically exhausting. So uh, I'm gonna pick it up next time and we'll keep going on that firewall. Once the firewall's done, we could put the, the brake pedal assembly in, steering column, and then I think we have to paint it first and then put the, uh, the insulation on the back there. Yeah, but once that's done, we can put it down on the wheels and push it out of the garage. I don't know why we need to push it out, but it'd be nice to be able to do that. Just wanted to say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm just gonna pinch this one off. <laughs>